Good morning, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso. I'm the Tantric Buddhist monk, teacher, healer. Today we're going to do a subtle version of what we discussed yesterday. Yesterday we, dis we discussed the um, compassionately equalizing self and others. Today we're going to discuss lovingly equalizing self and others. So let's, let's review love. Compassion and love are two sides of the same coin. Compassion sees the presence of something yucky and destructive and wishes to take it away. Love notices the lack of something positive and nurturing and pleasurable and delightful and useful and beneficial and longs to bestow it. So, compassion takes away the bad. Love gives good. So, can you see they're kind of a yin-yang deal? The two sides of the same coin. They're both very beneficial. They're both very beneficent. They're both caring about others' needs. When compassion takes suffering, love gives blessing. It's really that simple. So, if compassion is rooted in aversion, love is rooted in avarice, greed, desire. You see, contrary to popular superstition, we didn't say stop desiring things. He told us to be liberated from the tyranny of desires. Huge difference. You can't stop desiring things without, you know, having part of your brain removed. Okay, we're designed to desire things that are good for us, or at least things that we think are good for us, or at least hope are good for us. Wow, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? Oh, well, we'll just leave that as it is. Let's continue. When we are selfishly consumed with our own desires, we call that greed. When we use the momentum of our self-centered desires to care about others' needs, we call that universal love. So we're going to start, we're going to do, perform three contemplations. And they're very similar to yesterday's. So let's begin. The first contemplation, and by the way, we're going to hack meditation by working with our ring fingers. We're going to touch the tip of each thumb to the base of its ring finger. We are going to rest the big knuckle at the base of the right ring finger upon the tip of the left ring finger thusly. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. Every time you do, you do this video, let's see what's going on here with the camera. There you go. Every time you do this video, you'll get more and more familiar with these various contemplative hacks. Let's continue. First, the rhetorical contemplative question. Why could all long for peace. On the in-breath, like it all. On the out-breath, long for peace. Second rhetorical contemplative question. How could each be the same? How could we be the same? Because we all desire greater peace. However we define it, we all desire more of it. The third and final contemplative, rhetorical contemplative question this morning, and by rhetorical I mean these questions you don't supposed to answer. No, no, no. We ask them on the in-breath, we relax on the out-breath. That's their power. Why give peace 
releasing. The beautiful thing about this rhetorical question is that it is an assumptive question. By asking why give peace, we're assuming that we have the capacity to actually give the peace. And that's useful for future exercises. Now, this isn't a question of blind faith, fundamentalist blind faith. This isn't a question of superstition. It's a question of basic Newtonian physics. Causality, cause and effect. It's been taught by many Buddhist saints that sincerely caring about the needs of others, or at least developing the intention to care about the needs of others, generates very good karma. It also guides our good karma towards the benefit of those we care about. So by enthusiastically wrapping our will around the intention to give others peace, we create the causes for them to receive at least a measure of peace. And if that's just bullshit, that's okay because it's training both our heart and our mind to care about others. And there's great benefit in that. Don't believe me, go ahead and rent a copy of how the Grinch stole Christmas. And you tell me, was the Grinch happier in the beginning of the movie or at the end? The Monday series of weekly uh, meditation classes begins the 2nd of December. So if you live in the greater Los Angeles area, come on down. Class will be held very near the intersection of, let's see, uh, Lancashire and Strathern in the gla in glamorous North Hollywood. If you don't live in these here parts, ain't no problem. You can participate live via Skype. But there's only so much place in both room in both my actual and my cyber venues. So if you're gonna register, do it quickly. You can do so by using the LamaJigme.com link below. If you have any questions or comments, or if you'd simply like to send me a cyber hug, you can do that by using the Facebook link below. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Om Namo Buddhaya. Bye-bye.